Hello and welcome to this episode of Maintenance with Magnus. Today we're going to do some simple service maintenance on the AUX. The Devijaro Overshot Express, or the AUX, is a purpose-built overshot survey solution for the diamond core drilling application. The precise, quick and strong AUX enables continuous gyro surveying up to speeds of 100 meters per minute while retrieving a core tube. And this maximizes the bit on phase time while controlling the deviation. Today we're going to do a general check of the tool, then we're going to clean and lube up everything. Finally we're going to replace the gyro batteries as well as the o-rings. Now we're going to do a general check of the tool. This should take around 5 minutes. So what I'd like to start with is just checking that the tool is straight. Just set it up on the V-stand that's included in the kit and just rotate the tool and see if you can see any major bends or major runouts. My tool looks pretty decent, it's not bent at all. Then I'm moving on to the spearhead. Check that the spearhead swivel rotates and that you can bend this. Next we're checking the, ensuring that all wheels are turning and, and that, they're, that the wheels are not cracked. I'm doing that for all wheels down here. Then check the grease nipples, ensure that they're not broken off and that they're in good shape. Moving on to the middle spring shaft, just compress the overshot, you can also lift it up and just make sure that you're able to compress the spring and that the shaft not seized. Ensure that it's moving. You also have a swivel function here, so just make sure that the top part of the overshot spins freely and then you put it back down and then I'm going to check that my overshot sleeve is not stuck just ensure that it's not seized and that you can just both spin it and move it freely up and down if it's seized just use some WD-40 and just spray in there to dissolve the rust and then I'm checking that my lifting dogs are also moving freely. Lastly, I'm going to open the pressure barrel and ensure that my David Jaro is in good shape. So just grab your 34 millimeter wrenches, those are included in the kit, and just open the, open the pressure barrel. So now gently remove the spearhead part. If I'm dropping this one now, I can break the gyro. Just gently remove the gyro. Just check that the gyro looks fine, no damages on the front. And then I'm checking that my, there's some internal O-rings in here that's used for damping. So I just check that both are present. And the same down here, just check that you have your O-ring and there's no water damage inside. When reassembling, just make sure that the gyro slips into place because there's a groove in here that you need to fit with the front of the gyro. Just push it in and rotate it so it slips into place. And then remount the spearhead assembly. And that's it for the general check. Secondly, we're going to do some cleaning and lubing of the tool. This takes around 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove the centralizers and clean and check that everything's great or looks good underneath. Just grab your 34 millimeter wrenches from the kit. I like to do one centralizer at a time just to avoid mixing them up. Dismount the first one. So just check the threads for any damages, seizing or something. And you also need to check for pit corrosion and other issues. So mine looks pretty good. Then I'm just taking myself a wet wipe, wiping everything clean. You don't want any grease on your O-rings uh, under the centralizers because they're there so you can so you get some friction between the centralizers and the overshot to ensure that the overshot is 
is spinning. And this is to increase the uh, overall quality of your survey results. So first just clean everything with wet wipe and then grab yourself a piece of paper and just wipe off the O-rings. Make sure that the wheel holders are moving freely. And then just remount the centralizer. And just tighten with the wrenches. And then you do the same for, for these two. If you choose to remove all three centralizers at the same time, uh, you need to make sure that you have them in the correct place when you're remounting them. The centralizer closest to the overshot lifting assembly is straight and not helix. So you need to make sure that the helix ones are up here and the straight ones are down here. It's marked with, the, with a straight line on the wheel holder. So you want the straight one closest to the overshot lifting dock. Next, we're gonna clean and lube the moving parts. As you can see, it's a bit difficult to clean beneath this. If it's spinning freely, then it's not an issue. The same goes for the lifting dogs. If you're a bit corroded, just use some WD-40. Spray some in the crevices here. On both the lifting dogs. And just, and just make sure that it's, that they're moving freely. When it comes to these, just grab yourself a grease gun. Just mount your grease gun and just give it a good squeeze of grease. Pump until you see the grease come out here. That means you've filled everything with grease. And the same goes for, for the suitable assembly up here. And the grease comes out here. And that's it for the cleaning and lubing. Lastly, we're going to change the O-rings and the Devi Gyro battery. This takes around 5 minutes. So, just grab your 34mm wrenches and open the pressure barrel. When removing the spare head part, just be careful not to, not to let it rest on the gyro. You need to gently pull it out and you see the gyro comes with it. So just unscrew the top battery cap. This should have been hand tightened, so it shouldn't be stuck. Grab yourself a new battery. These are CR123A, like general photo batteries. There's a plus pole here. So make sure that the plus pole points towards the Devi Jaro. Like this. And then remount the battery cap. When you're inserting the Devijaro, just gently push it in, just rotate it until it slips into place. This is to avoid crushing the Devijaro, because if you try to remount the spare head assembly before you've mounted the Devijaro correctly, you, you will crush your Devijaro. And then, after I replace the battery, I take a wet wipe and just clean off the O-rings and threads, so, so that I can inspect these threads and see if there's any damage. Mine looks all good. So I take myself an O-ring plier. This is not included in your, in your kit, you need to bring your own. You can also use a small flat iron screwdriver. Remove the old O-rings and then grab a set of new O-rings from your overshot kit. And then you simply just remount the new ones. Then you grab yourself some O-ring leash for the O-rings. You can have a generous amount of O-ring grease here. And then you grab your molly coat, which is also included in your kit, just to avoid, avoid the threads from seizing. Once that's done, just simply gently remount the top spearhead assembly. Then you grab your wrenches and 
just give it some, just tighten it a bit. And then you can clean, clean off the excess molly coat. There we are, all wings and battery replaced. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact your local Devico supplier or Devico directly at our website. And remember, preventive maintenance is key to extending equipment life, ultimately saving you both time and money.